So there's this guy on YouTube by the name of Jaw Dropping Science that makes these really interesting science videos, and he has a fun game called Two Truths and Trash, where he'll present three things, two of them being true and one of them being fake. I thought it would be a fun idea to incorporate that into Genshin, so here we are. How well do you know Genshin? In each round, I'll present to you three different things. In every round, there will be four options. Either A, B, or C is fake, or none of them are fake. For this example, the second one is obviously fake. There are 10 rounds. Good luck. You can get Primo Gems from each character through the teapot by talking to them once you reach Friendship Level 10. Loach Pearls and Trishorite are the only items that cannot be used anywhere except in the Parametric Transformer. There is no crafting recipe that uses them, and there is no character that needs them either. Viparias also don't have a crafting recipe, but some wild Arnars do ask for them. The Adepti Seeker Stove is a temporary gadget that lets you cook anywhere you are. This gadget does not reduce sheer cold. You've seen all three videos now. Pause and vote for which one you thought was fake. If you thought Loach Pearls were used somewhere else, you'd be wrong. If you thought the Adept Eye Seeker Stove could reduce sheer cold, you'd also be wrong. You don't get any Primo Gems from getting a character to Friendship Level 10. I was able to make it look like I did through Teapot Furnishing Sets. You can copy someone else's teapot through replicas, but only if they let you. This setting is turned off by default. The descriptions of character ascension materials get increasingly descriptive as the rarity increases. This is not true for the Traveler's ascension materials, as the description is the same across all of them. The Seed Dispensary Gadget is a gadget that when equipped, will collect seeds for you when you pick up a plant. You can use this gadget in your teapot to collect seeds and replant them forever. Alright, it's time to cast your vote. If you thought replicas are real, then you'd be right. If you thought the seed dispensary gadget can make an infinite loop of planting, then you'd be wrong. The seed dispensary gadget does not work in the teapot. The Traveler's Ascension materials really do stay the same across each rarity, unlike the other elements. The Fishing Line Stabilizer gadget will always catch fish for you. Keeping your fishing rod in the ideal tension zone will only speed up the process. The items that Salmon Trolls drop have their face on it, and if you're wondering, their mouth is actually their eye. There are additional descriptions of every weapon and every artifact piece in the archive beyond what is presented in your backpack. Alright, you know the drill. If you thought the archive doesn't have additional descriptions, then you'd be wrong. If you thought this photo of Samichiro Scrolls is photoshopped, then you'd also be wrong. However, if you thought the first one was wrong, then you'd be right. The Fishing Line Stabilizer gadget only catches fish for you if you've caught enough of that specific fish. From this NPC, you can buy Omni Ubiquity Nets, where you can capture animals and put them in your teapot. The symbols of different nations have their respective element hidden in the images. You can sort your characters by a variety of stats, one of them being Friendship XP. This can make it easy to tell who isn't Friendship Level 10 if you're farming for it. If you thought all of these were true, then you'd be right. Omni Ubiquity Nets can catch a variety of animals. Every nation has their respective element hidden in the photos. You can indeed sort your characters by Friendship XP. Aloy, just like the Traveler, is not from Teyvat and thus does not have a vision. You can challenge anyone in the Cat's Tale to a game of TCG. They don't have to have the blue card over their head. In English, Bennett and Singcho share the same voice actor, as well as Barbara and Shinyan.
If you thought all of these were true again, then you'd be wrong. Aloy might be from another world, but she does indeed have a vision. Using an animal skill when you have an animal granum will generate a wind current. In Dragon's Mind, using a Cryo skill will also have the same effect, although this will increase the effect Sheer Cold has on you. At the crafting table, you can change the elements of Ascension materials using Dust of Azoth, and you can also change billets using Dream Solvent. The insignias that Treasure Hoarders drop have a raven on them. This symbol can also be seen on Treasure Hoarders themselves. If you thought this photo of a treasure hoarder was photoshopped to have a raven on them, you'd be wrong. If you thought that you couldn't change billets using dream solvents, you'd also be wrong. That leaves the first one. Using an animal skill does generate a wind current, and using a cryo skill in Dragon Spine does also generate a wind current. All of them are true. Holding Kazuha's skill in midair will generate a small wind current. The Red Feather Fan lets you glide 30% faster for 30 seconds. This gadget cannot be triggered in midair though, so you have to activate it before you take off. Electro Granum regenerate energy for your Electro characters up to 50%. If you thought the Red Feather Fan did something else, you'd be wrong. If you thought holding Kazuha's skill in midair does nothing, then you'd be right. Holding Kazuha's skill in midair doesn't do anything. I was able to make it look like it did using the wind powered wind generator. Electro Granum regenerate energy for your electro characters once the sacred Sakura reaches level 3. The boon of the Elder Tree gadget lets you collect all nearby wood without having to manually hit every single tree. Your Wave Rider will regenerate a certain amount of HP whenever you enter it, letting you quickly heal it if you need to. The hitbox of a plunge attack has no ICD but also does not apply any elements. If you thought that Wave Riders don't regenerate HP when you enter it, you'd be right. They don't. I was able to make it look like it did using video editing and the Wave Rider Repair Toolbox. NPCs that you can talk to will glow with elemental sight, while those that you cannot talk to will not glow. Spread does more damage than aggravate. Canonically, there are deer-like creatures in Teyvat. If you thought Spread and Aggravate deal the same amount of damage, then you'd be wrong. Spread does in fact deal more damage than Aggravate. If you thought all NPCs glow, you'd also be wrong. If you thought there aren't deer in Teyvat, you'd also be wrong. There's a deer head prop in some indoor locations in Mondstadt. All of them are true. You can destroy weapons in your backpack in exchange for enhancement ores. You can star a character, placing them at the top of your characters besides your party members. The knowledge capsule that the traveler uses in the Archon Quest does not actually have any in-game effects on your characters. If you're 9 for 9 right now, choose carefully. If you thought that the Knowledge Capsule actually does something, then you'd be right. It permanently increases the Traveler's base attack by 3. And that's all the rounds. How many did you know? If you knew all of them, here's a bonus fact for you. Touching Grass has no Dendro ICD, 